I want to talk about a Republican named Randy Kaufman. This is an individual from Arizona who was running to represent the governing board of the Maricopa County Community College District. Now, he had to suspend his campaign for reasons I will tell you about in a moment, but let's talk about who he was as a candidate. This is an individual who has consistently been a strong Trump supporter. He's an election denier. On top of that, he is an anti-vaxxer, an anti-masker, and as HuffPost explains, in a Facebook post from May, Kaufman said he wanted our children protected from the progressive left. Now, in addition to that, he seems very interested in protecting children. In a Facebook post on May 8th, he wrote, my home state of Oregon peeps, what are you doing putting tampons in the boys' bathroom? I mean, really, are you not aware that boys do not have periods or did something happen in my time away? On May 2nd, he wrote, what tools they are. DC Elementary School gave four-year-olds anti-racism fist book, asking them to identify racist family members. So he seems very concerned about children and the development of children. So of course, he would never do anything to endanger children, right? Well, wrong. As Law and Crime reports, according to a probable cause affidavit obtained by Law and Crime, an officer with the Maricopa County College's Police Department at approximately 4.29 p.m. on October 4th was performing his normal patrol routine when he observed a maroon Ford F-150 pickup truck just inside of a parking lot at Rio Salado College in Surprise, Arizona. The officer said he noticed that the vehicle was parked across three spaces and there was a shade screen across the inside of the front windshield, which he noted as unusual. Approximately 10 minutes later, the officer went to take a closer look at the vehicle and noticed that it was still running. He allegedly approached the vehicle from the front passenger door and observed Kaufman in the driver's seat, noting that he appeared to be using one of his hands to hold up a cell phone. Quote, I immediately became alarmed as I saw Kaufman had his pants down mid-thigh and was exposed, showing his fully erect nude penis. <laughs> Kaufman. <laughs> I can't get through this next line. Kaufman. <laughs> Kaufman was manipulating his genitals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kaufman. <laughs> Kaufman was manipulating his genitals in a mass <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kaufman was manipulating his genitals in a masturbatory manner, the affidavit states. I'm gonna come. I'm literally crying. I I'm just imagining the police officer seeing that face and describing, well, he was manipulating his genitals in a masturbatory manner. It's just, it's a little bit too much for me to take. Now, this would be a funny story if that was the end of it. You see this Republican jerking off in his vehicle, but the reason why this is so much more serious than just indecent exposure is because he was within full view of a preschool. Literally, like 190 feet away, he was in a parking lot next to a Wurtzies preschool and child care center, and he was in full view of the school. There were children on the playground. So the cop was like, what are you doing? It's bad enough to be masturbating in public, but you're doing it when there are children right there. They're right there. What are you doing? Now, the exchange between the police officer and him was definitely interesting, so let's get to that. An excerpt from the affidavit shows a portion of the alleged conversation. Officer says, I saw you had your phone out while you were doing what you were. What was going on with the phone? Kaufman replies saying, I was watching porn. Officer, what kind of porn were you watching? Kaufman responded saying, interracial porn. Officer says, when you look around here, what do you see? Kaufman says, the child center, but I didn't notice it until you came up and I got out of my truck. Are you going to put that in a report? Officer, don't you see how alarming that is? That there are children nearby, people passing on bikes and in cars where they can look and see what you are doing? Kaufman says, quote, I fucked up. Yeah, you did to put it lightly. And on top of that, he claimed that he was stressed out, which is why he was watching interracial porn and masturbating 
in his Ford F-150 truck. Jesus Christ, what a fucking psychopath this guy is who does that. If you're stressed out and you have the urge to masturbate, go home. What are you doing? It's bad enough to do it in a parking lot, but again, he was right next to a preschool. A preschool. This is disgusting. This guy is perverted, and I don't necessarily know whether or not he was aware that there was a preschool, but when there are children playing outside, they're pretty loud. They're having fun, screaming. You, How could you not know? That's the question, right? Were you not familiar with the area? Did you just pull over? Like, you had to jerk off immediately, so you, like, pull into this parking lot next to a preschool. You're parked across three different spaces, and you just immediately had to jerk off. Was it that urgent for you? Was it this compulsive thing that you had to do immediately? It's just very bizarre, and I don't even expect 14-year-old boys to behave in this manner because it's just something that you don't do. It's just disrespectful, and when you're in front of children or that close to children within the proximity of a preschool— it's absolutely deeply perverted. Now, he tried to convince the police officer to go off the record on this, but the police officer did not, because why would he? You're next to a preschool. You are a danger to these children. So, as funny as the details are, the way that the officer describes this in the affidavit of he was touching his genitals in a masturbatory manner, still, the fact that he did this near preschool, this, this is incredibly serious, especially for somebody who purports to care about protecting the children from the progressive left. Seems like we need to protect children from you because you're jerking off in a parking lot next to a preschool. And I just, I don't know how you don't realize that unless you like swerved off the road and you just didn't even realize what you were doing. You whipped out your dick immediately. It's just, it's so bizarre. His response here is so bizarre to me. Um, but for somebody who's unhinged, he's anti-vax, anti-mask, he's an election denier, a full-blown MAGA chud, I don't necessarily expect that much competence and intelligence from these individuals, but I feel like there's this like baseline level of decency as an adult that you are forced to to exhibit and he he lacks that he doesn't meet the bare minimum like he fails that threshold and to make matters worse he did it in front of a school again this would not be acceptable if he were not next to a school i shouldn't say in front of a school but allegedly nearby a school he was in a parking lot and then the school was adjacent to the parking lot that he was in but he was within view of the school so it's uh it's hard to tell specifically like what he was thinking. I think that this was the absence of thought he wasn't thinking, but it's it really goes to show you that these Republicans, the ones who often protest the loudest about the threat that the left poses to children, they're usually uh, usually the ones that you have to look out for because they end up getting caught with their pants down literally jerking off when preschools are within proximity of the vehicle that they're jerking off in. Um, just overall disgusting, but I mean, I'm not that surprised, but he did drop out. So that's good. He suspended his campaign, but I'm still just shocked by the details. The fact that he did this is just to me so alarming, so bizarre as, as humorous as the details are, like what the cop wrote. It's, it's funny, right? But overall, the situation is so disturbing that he would do this. So yeah, I'll leave that there. A Republican was caught jerking off in his car, and it was a little bit too close for comfort to a preschool, and that's that's really shameful. Are any Republicans going to condemn this, especially the ones who have been really loud about groomers? Probably not, because they would never, because consistency isn't necessarily something that Republicans are known for, but still, it's important that we know about this story, because Republicans are full of shit, and this is just one more example to prove just that. I'm gonna come. Ah, ah, uh, do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the Come, come Zone. zone.